In this video, we're going to look at example one. And below we have a network graph with six vertices and eight edges. And we have a set of vertices next to it. Now, basically what we want to do is we want to have three isomorphic graphs. And we're going to do that by connecting vertices with edges. All right, let's get into this. You will notice when we look at the graph on the left, you've got vertex A connected with B like so and it's also connected with F so A connected with F so we're going to make sure that happens in our diagrams on the right we want A to connect with B and we want A to connect with F we want A to connect with B and we want A to connect with F okay let's now look at vertex B We've already mentioned that B is connected to A, but we can also see that B connects to F and B connects to C. All right, let's do that over here. So B needs to connect to F, like so, and B also needs to connect with C. B needs to connect with F and B needs to connect with C. All right, let's look at vertex C. We already know it connects with B. It also connects with D. So C connects with D and C connects with E. So let's make sure that happens on the right. C needs to connect with D and C needs to connect with E. C needs to connect with D and C needs to connect with E. All right, let's look at vertex D now. We already know D connects with C, but we also need to say that D connects with E as well. All right, so let's connect those ones. So D connects with E and D connects with E. All right, ver looking at vertex E, we already know it connects to C and connects to D. Uh, we can also see that E connects with F. So we need to make sure that happens as well. E connects with F and E connects with F. We now have three isomorphic graphs, but let's just double check this. First of all, we should have six vertices on all of them, which is true. They all have six vertices. They also need to have eight edges. So I'm just going to count them. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the one in the middle. And for the one on the right, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Excellent. So we can see they all have six vertices and eight edges. You can also check the degree of each vertex. You'll notice that we have two vertices with a degree of 2. The A and the D only have a degree of 2. And the other vertices have a degree of 3. So A has a degree of 2 and D has a degree of 2. Excellent. A has a degree of 2 and D has a degree of 2. And every other vertex has a degree of 3. So it looks pretty good. We can say that quite safely that these three graphs are isomorphic. Anyway, that concludes our video on example 1. Remember to read the description below for links to workbooks that relate to this video.